Well, for Carl Lewis, winning the gold medal nine times might be easier than trying to run for a New Jersey state Senate seat. This past April, he announced he planned to compete as a Democrat, but he's facing an obstacle course of political wrangling with Republicans claiming he doesn't meet the state's residency requirement. Carl Lewis joins me now for his first live television interview since announcing his candidacy. It's good to have you here, to sure. have you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. So what is your plan? L let me, where do things stand now? Because there's been the battle over whether your name should be on the ballot, residency requirements and all of that. Where do things stand in terms of even giving New Jersey voters the opportunity to vote right. for you? Well, I'm on the ballot and I, I won the primary, as people, some people know. And what's happening now is they're really trying to get me back off the ballot. And it's been an interesting thing. You know, I was in sports. We used to line up on the, on the line, all the people shake hands and go. Well, if I was able to line up with no competitors, I'd always win the race. And really, that's what they're trying to do. Okay, so New Jersey, in some ways, is facing similar situations to states across the nation. There's, uh, there's big battles over the budget. Um, the, the Democrats who were in the majority are getting a lot of pushback now because they went along with Governor Chris Christie. They just slashed benefits for state employees. It's bound to be a topic that comes up again if you're elected. How would you move forward on that, knowing on the one hand you have state employees who want their benefits? If it's on the other, New Jersey has among the highest property taxes in the nation. Right. Well, well first of all, we, we know that we have the highest property taxes. And, and one of the things with the governor slashing all of the communities, it's raising the taxes in those communities. So what we need to do as a state is um, understand that I am 100% for um, collective bargaining. So we fortunately have a situation where that grandfather's in and it, and it goes away at sunsets. So the, the future is now um, New Jerseyans coming together, making sure that we continue to push our good schools, because we have great schools in Jersey. But my biggest thing is that we have to strive to be the best, yeah. and and uh, we're we're cutting we're cutting women's services and all these areas. But the reality is that that's just passed on to someone else. We were talking in the break about why you chose state senate as opposed to a run for Congress. There's a lot of um, voters who are just fed up with what they're seeing in Washington right now. But knowing that that happens at the state level too, watching this impasse. Why would you even want to be in politics right now? Well, you know, I, I don't look at myself as becoming a politician. Um, I've watched my parents serve every day, and I grew up with them coaching track teams and doing programs. And so then when I grew up, I did the same thing. So I, I started four years ago in Willingboro coaching a track team, and that track team was the last team in South Jersey. This year, they almost won state because we made that challenge. So really, it's, it's not really becoming a politician. It, it's for me to serve. And at the state level, it allows me to continue all the great relationships that I have with the community, things that I do. Uh, what's interesting is I've never been in politics, and we've got the governor, the secretary of state, the attorney general, the state GOP, the county GOP, and my opponent. So, you know, I, I look at it this way. I've actually put USA on my chest, and I ran against the world. I can handle, I can handle state GOP. Thank you Thank so you much, for Carl, me. for coming in. I appreciate that.